Let's do a little time travel. Let's travel back to the days of March of 2008 in which I really was into just military shooters. Um, so very unlike today where I'm complaining a lot about Call of Duty and all these other games that are just um, very run-of-the-mill and um, kind of started to bore me. Um, but back in these days, the days of 2008, that version of me was really in love with one game, and that game was Rainbow Six Vegas 2. Um, especially because of the one game mode. And the game mode, I have to still today say, was the shit. I'm talking about Terrorist Hunt, a game mode that was already in Vegas 1, um, but Vegas 2 just did it much better. So today I just want to talk about um, pretty much just that game mode and how I liked it, and... Um, just give you a general overview and uh, in case you have never played this game mode before make sure to check it out because I mean I had such a great time back in the days and even today when I recorded this gameplay it was just it was pure fun so um, terrorist hunt what it basically is you can um, fight bots with up to four people that is it in a nutshell um, you have like a selection of 15 maps and like three difficulties and three density levels of like how crowded the whole map is with terrorists and um, it's very simple if you think about it but it's just really a lot of fun because the game is rather difficult and um, it really re just requires a lot of communication and that's really what I like about it because it's not easy you have to really come up with strategies how you're gonna clear a room and something like that so that was just always a lot of fun for me. I mean, even in Call of Duty, um, which today I would blame for being like complete shit, but uh, back in the days, I really enjoyed it and I played it in played it on hardcore difficult always. And this game is pretty much hardcore only, if you will, because you die really fast. And um, I mean, then there's also additional tactical stuff, which I really appreciated. So the gameplay you're watching right now is actually just normal difficulty and I believe normal density, which is not anything special, but it's what I found today when I um, just entered the matchmaking and uh, I'm playing on the map Villa and I believe the general public kind of unofficially agreed on the fact that uh, Villa is like the best map out of the few that you have and... Um, I don't know, something about this map just really made it interesting for me. It's just a very, like, I don't know, just a very subtle setting. Like, it's just this villa. There's nothing, like, too crazy and war-torn about it. It's just a nice-looking place. I mean, you would just love to live there. But then what it actually ends up being is just, like, a place for you to kill a lot of terrorists. And I don't know. <laughs> this sounds may, might sound kind of weird, but um, I really like this map. So, uh, despite all of this, despite me just loving the shit out of terrorist hunt mode, um, Rainbow Six Vegas in general is just a very underrated game in my opinion. I mean, maybe not um, when it comes to reviews, so the re reviews that came out back in the days, but just when it comes to like people talking about it, because you never hear people talk about Rainbow Six Vegas or Vegas 2 um, and I find that to be very unfortunate because I really had a great time with this and especially the terrorist hunt mode um, just is a lot of fun and I believe you should definitely check it out if you're into like tactical shooters I mean if not I don't want to force you or anything um, that's not the way I roll um, yeah <laughs> I don't know so coming up in a few seconds I'll have a little bonus clip and I'll just use that to kind of say goodbye and um, end this video and um, what you'll actually see me doing right here is um, planting a C4 on the staircase I don't know why I did it but I just felt like doing it I mean you saw it in the previous game or match um, as well um, but yes so guys if you haven't checked out or never played the Terrace Hunt mode make sure to do that because it's just a lot a lot of fun and um, if you have actually played it why don't you go ahead and tell me um, what you remembered how you liked it and just look at this now <laughs> I just take a wild guess 
and blow up the last terrorists. So guys, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this, and goodbye.